Let's demonstrate palpation of the right-sided piriformis on a male client. The first thing to do is to make sure that they understand how they will need to engage the piriformis so we can feel it contract and be certain of our location. So if we flex the leg at the knee joint to 90 degrees, this motion here is lateral rotation of the thigh at the hip joint the action of the piriformis because the anterior surface of the thigh orients laterally. So in this position, do you feel my hand on the inside of your lower leg? Okay, just press against me. Perfect. Relax there. So the client knows how he will need to engage the piriformis when we get to that point. For my landmarks, I need to find the PSIS here. I then need to find the apex of the sacrum here. I go halfway between the two. I then drop laterally off of the sacrum here. I then find the greater trochanter here, and I draw a line between these two points and this is where the piriformis will be located. I place my palpating thumb, in this case, here on the piriformis, and you feel my fingers here, press against me, and the piriformis engages, and I strum perpendicularly across it. Relax. It's important that the client does not contract too hard into lateral rotation, or the gluteus maximus, which is superficial to the piriformis, will engage. I move a baby step along the line, press against me again, a little gentler this time, and there we go, and I feel the piriformis right there, relax. I move another baby step, press against me, and I feel the piriformis engage deep to the glute max there, relax, and I keep moving in baby steps following the piriformis all the way to the greater trochanter. Now once we have successfully located the piriformis, we now palpate and assess it when it's relaxed to determine its tone. 